Hello, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm getting on with my Orc Megnob clone. Cool. Hello, before we begin, get your power claw and smash the subscribe button and clamp the bell button, and you'll see more videos like this one from tips and little tricks and things to help you save money. So, before we begin, as I said in the intro, we're going to be talking about the Orc Meganob clone that I've done. Um, if you've been following along on the, either on my Facebook group, which might be a link in there, and the unification group, that might be a link in there, then you'll see that I've actually bought the Meganob and I've already started making clones. So, here we are, we'll bring him on. Um, so... Obviously, from this distance, it's a Meganob. He's pretty good. Um, not the best painted, but it's the old Meganob size slash style. Um, upon closer inspection, however, you will be able to see there are some main differences. So there's a lot of good bits, and then there is some bad bits. So we'll go over the bad bit first, the main chunky bad bit, which you are about to see. So cover your eyes. It's the power claw. So from this end, it looks all right, but there it just looks a bit naff, if I'm honest. There's like a big metal block. Um, I will be making more, and I may just snap this off if I get a good cast um, of the power claw. Alternative for this would be just getting up to the arm and just buying some power claws from Bits Box or um, Forbidden Wargaming Planet, something. It's a bit sight. Anyway, um, the moral of the story is the claws, if it doesn't go well, I can just get bits for it. Um, other bits that are not the best is the fact that the jaw is a little bit warped. Again, he's an orc, he's not meant to be pretty. Um, that's uh, There's a little bit at the back that's a little bit smushed. It's a tiny bit smushed. So you can see there, but again, you could put it down to orc building, orc workmanship. But there's a lot of detail in that back, in my opinion. For almost free model that's there's a lot of detail there so i'm actually quite happy with the main cast of the body and i'm quite happy with the gun again it's not perfect but i think of the parts on the model that you probably wouldn't realize it's probably definitely from the back and the um big the custom shooter looks pretty spiffing obviously this big metal fist um isn't the best but that's what i'll be saying it is a big metal fist so, yeah, obviously let me know what you think um, in the comments. But for me, for personal use, obviously I'm not using this at G-dubs because I'm not stupid. Um, for friendly games, I think this is, this is going to do the job. Um, and I can have a fair few for possibly between, what, like tops 9 to 12 pound. Um which is a massive saving. If I bought three sets of Orcs brand new from GW, it, even if I got them on, even if I saved some money, went on some bit, um, thingy sites, I would still be spending around £99 on nine guys. Whereas I spent £15 for this, I, for the metal dude, the original metal model, and I'm going to be spending around £9 to £12 for another nine. Um, that is a massive saving. Again, for friendly games, this you can't go wrong, in my opinion. There's more to it than that. So when I say this, um, don't be disheartened. But obviously, you've got to pay for your blue stuff as well. The mold making stuff. And I actually bought three sets. I used one set, which was about four blocks of blue stuff, to make the body and the head and everything. One for this, and then one set for this one. So... Uh, that would be, again, four, four, and four. So, I'm going to end the video there. I'll probably do more um, when it comes to uh, making more. And hopefully I'll have built out an army of armoured um, orcs. Um, so that'll be pretty good. Let me know what you think. Um, if you want to see more orc clones again, just let me know. And I'll probably make some more content in that respect. Thank you very much for watching, as ever. And um, thanks for watching.